Hello, my name is Bart. Welcome to this uh, product training about our well-known Motica microscope cameras. The idea of this video is to give you a good basic knowledge about the different models of Motticam cameras that I use and the way to connect them onto the microscope. In the first part of the video I will talk about the Motticam CMOS cameras and the differences between several models going from standard resolution cameras to optimal performance cameras, uh, documentation cameras, Wi-Fi cameras and high definition cameras. All of these models have their specific characteristics and fields of applications. Modicam CMOS cameras are a all-in-one box solution containing the different tools you might need to mount your camera onto the microscope and this will be explained in the second part. The third part is a more technical explanation about the way to mount your camera onto the microscope onto the eyepiece, into the eye tube, or using a trinocular port. And then finally, I will talk about the Moticam Professional Cameras, Moticam Pro with a CCD sensor. So, once again, welcome, and here we go. Matic standard live resolution cameras are introduction models in digital microscopy. They have a good quality sensor and are frequently used in education and small laboratories. Maticam 1 has a resolution of 800 by 600 pixels. It is a rather small image format, good for basic displaying of the image without need to, to zoom into details. Maticam 1SP has a resolution of 1.3 megapixels more than twice as much as the Modicum 1. And the advantage of this model is that, well, most laptop screens also have a resolution of 1.3 megapixels and this means that the whole image is completely displayed on the screen. And it's a very popular model in education sector. And the uh, Modicum 2 is, has a resolution of 2 megapixels. So in this group it is the camera that gives you most details. Modicam 3 is the optimal performance camera with a considerable resolution of 3 megapixels, a big image sensor of half an inch and a very fast response time. It is the perfect choice for any professional user, laboratories, universities or students. It is the model we recommend for its great performance in many fields of application. Modicam 5 and Modicam 10 are high resolution cameras with a resolution of 5 and 10 megapixels respectively. They are meant for documentation, so printing and publishing. And in fact they have a higher pixel density and this makes them a bit slower than Modicam 3. They have a specific use which is taking images for printing afterwards. Maticam X is a Wi-Fi camera with a resolution of 1.3 megapixels. It streams images with its own signal and up to six devices can be connected at the same time, be it tablets, smartphones or computers. When working with a computer you can simply use our popular software Matic Images Plus 2.0 as with any other Maticam. When working with a tablet or with a smartphone you should download our free app MatiConnect from Google Play or App Store and you will be able to capture, edit and share your microscope images. The Maticam X is a unique solution to turn your microscope into a Wi-Fi station. Maticam 580 and 580 INT are high definition cameras with several output options. Both cameras have the same technical characteristics, but the difference is that the 580 INT is meant to be integrated in a BA Elite microscope, while the 580 can be mounted on any microscope through the C-mount. The main feature of the Moticam 580 is the HDMI output, which transfers images to a flat screen or a projector. It is a really fast live image of 30 frames per second and a resolution of 1080 lines. The image processing is done inside the camera, 
so no computer is needed. And this makes it ideal for educational laboratories that don't want to have the hassle with a computer every time they use their microscope. You can capture images of 5 megapixels, uh, record videos and store them on the SD card. And the camera is controlled with the operation buttons on the side of the microscope of the camera or with the remote control. The Maticam 580 has also an analog output to connect it to analog monitors. However, this technology is getting outdated and HDMI is becoming the new standard. And there is also a USB connection to connect it to a computer, just like standard Maticams. In this case, the resolution is identical to Maticam 1. The Maticam 580 INT has exactly the same technical characteristics as the Maticam 580 but it is meant to be integrated into our BA Elite microscopes. The operation buttons are on the front, the SD card on the side and the plugs are on the back. And just as with the Maticam 580, you can control the camera with the operation buttons or with the remote control. It has a built-in 10-inch LCD screen so that you can view and share the microscope's image in real time and this integrated screen is also more comfortable for the eyes of the researcher. So the Modicam 580 INT will convert your microscope into a digital station. All Modicam CMOS cameras come in one box with the tools you might need to mount your Modicam onto the microscope. What are these tools? Well, you will find a quick start guide that will help you to install and to use your camera. There is a CD with the software Modic Images Plus 2.0, compatible with uh, Windows and with Mac. In order to calibrate the software, there are two calibration slides, one in glass, one in plastic. And we have on our website um, video tutorials that give you detailed information about our software and the calibration procedure. Our software is our Moticam is compatible with other software using uh, universal drivers called Twain and DirectShow and there is an SDK program that allows you to program your Moticam yourself. The Moticam needs its power from the USB. You will see there is a mini USB plug at the back and this is to connect the camera to a computer using the USB cable. When the camera is working, the green LED is on. At the bottom of the camera there is an opening and you can see the image sensor behind the protection glass and this opening has a C-mount thread, thread to screw the camera to a microscope and there is another thread up at the back to screw the camera onto a camera tripod or onto a gooseneck stand. There is also a macro tube for the observation of macro samples and it has to be used together with the focusable lens. So screw the focusable lens onto the macro tube and onto the Maticam. And then you can use the assembly as a visualizer. And this in fact is a very useful tool in biology education for displaying and visualization of insects, leaves or small objects. There are two eyepiece adapters to be connected onto the eyepiece of the microscope. Uh, with a diameter of 30 and of 38 millimeters. These two sizes will fit on almost any microscope on the market. I will explain you in the next chapter how this works. There are three ways to connect your Maticam to the microscope. If you have a trinocular port, you can use this C-mount adapter. If you don't have a trinocular port, you can use either the eyepiece adapter or the BNS adapter. Let's see how this works. If your microscope has a trinocular port, you can use the C-mount adapter. So connect your modicum to the C-mount adapter and fix it on the trinocular port. And remember to pull out the beam splitter so that the light pad is open. The C-mount adapter is different for each model of microscope and it also depends on the sensor size of your camera. It is not included in the Modicam box. If you do not have a microscope with a trinocular port, 
it is easy to use the eyepiece adapters included in the Modicam box to connect your Modicam to the microscope. How does it work? Well, you can choose between an adapter of 30 and of 38 millimeters, and they will fit on almost any model of microscope existing on the market. So, connect your Modicam to the focusable lens, and screw it to the correct eyepiece adapter. And now you can attach it to the eyepiece and be sure that you have enough place to fit the three screws onto it. And be sure that you screw them progressively so that the eyepiece adapter is right in the middle of the eyepiece. And you see this is an easy way to convert your microscope into a digital microscope. The optional BNS adapter can be used as an alternative to the eyepiece adapters for the rare cases that they would not fit onto your microscope. So pull out the eyepiece, attach the BNS adapter to your mother cam and simply put it into the eye tube. Modicam Pro are cameras with a professional CCD sensor for advanced image quality requirements. There are four ranges with 1.4 megapixels, 3.2 megapixels, 5 megapixels and 1.4 megapixels high speed. And this high speed camera has a sensor with bigger pixels that can absorb more light. Most of the models have the choice between color or monochrome image and uh, with or without Peltier cooling. All Modicam Pro cameras have a Sony ICX CCD sensor with a high light sensitivity which make them a perfect choice for professional applications. In general the color representation is more real and the image is characterized for its brightness. The optional Peltier cooling system is necessary to protect the sensor from the noise generated by the heat, certainly when the camera is used for long exposure times. All cameras are connected to the computer with a USB cable and there is a trigger port for capture control with an external device. All Modicam Pro cameras come with the software Modic Images Advanced 3.2 and also with the software Modic Images Plus 2.0. To work with the Advanced 3.2 software you need this dongle or a key which is included in the, in the package and without this dongle the software would block. And just as with Modicam Siemens cameras all Modicam Pro are compatible with other software using the universal drivers Twain and DirectShow and also the SDK software is available to program the camera yourself. Okay, so this is it for today. I hope you learned a lot about our products. If you still have any questions, do not doubt to visit our website www.modicureup.com or our YouTube channel and you will discover videos and many other useful tools about our products. Uh, Nothing more to say. See you next time.